everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making number 188 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one is so beautiful. It is the peacock feather square and it was by request by one of our viewers and it has been designed for us to use in this project by April. She has the blog Banana Moon Studio. <laughs> That's such a cute name for a blog. So make sure you check out the links in the description of this video so you can get the written pattern, written instructions for this beautiful design. Uh, this one I used a few different colors and I actually modified my pattern uh, to make this into a double crochet these last two rounds here. Her rounds, uh, she ends hers on a round five and does a single crochet round. So my round five and round six are both double crochet rounds. So you can see that in my pattern. I little did a little modification but this main portion of this design is strictly her design on her pattern. So make sure you check that out and can follow along. In this pattern I am demonstrating with an H size crochet hook which is five millimeters so make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we will be cutting our yarn. There's my yarn needle <laughs> sewing in our ends. Those tools just come in handy in this big project. The colors I'm using I'm just using all Red Heart Super Saver yarn. These are just scrap yarns that I have. Well these are big balls that I have <laughs> but yeah, I have uh, scraps that I'm using for this yarn or this project obviously Obviously just a little bit of each color is used in this project. So uh, make sure you just have scraps. You can use any 10 ply yarn, worsted weight, or a double knitting yarn. You can also use a bigger or smaller hook depending on the size or your tension that you have as well. Um, other information, there's information in the description of this video. So if you have any questions for the 365 days of granny squares, you can click the, that link to my blog and get all 365 days of granny squares. If you click on the image, it will take you to the video tutorial here on YouTube and then at the bottom of the blog there are links to the ones that have written patterns available to you. So you will see number 188 down there. It will be called the Peacock Feather Square by April so you can click that and follow along with her written pattern. There's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you're sharing your photos on both platforms and you can hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your beautiful work. I've been double tapping on your photos on Instagram and commenting on my favorites. Also, you can make sure to follow me on Snapchat. Yes, I am on Snapchat. So you can follow me, snap me your photos of your squares today. I love getting all your squares every single day. You guys are so awesome. Just fabulous. I love the color combinations you come up with. So anyway, let's just get started and make number 188 granny square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold it down, and then pull that through. Pull tight, insert your hook, and we can start. So I'm going to start out just like how the original uh, pattern has, how the center is purple, then blue, then green. I'm going to use those colors in this pattern. You can use whatever colors you want to make your feather look like how you want it to. But we're going to start out by uh, chaining four, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to come way over here to the first chain right here. We're going to make a slip stitch. So go in, then yarn over and pull through and through. That creates a ring. Now if you know how to start with a magic ring, you can definitely start out that way. But going right into round number one, we are going to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And that is not going to count as anything. That is just getting us to the height we need to get our stitches around here. So that doesn't count as anything. So we're going to put 12 double crochets into this ring here. So a double crochet is yarn over, go into the ring, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is a double crochet. So we had to make 11 more of those. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's two, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That's three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, then once you come back around, you want to count back to the 12, uh, 12 stitches here. We have 12 around, and it should lead you up to this very first double crochet here. We're going to slip stitch to that, okay? So not the chain up two right here. We're going to actually go into the double crochet, go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, and there's round one. Now in the pattern, it says to fasten off, so chain one and cut your yarn. Pull that through and pull tight. Going right into round number two, we can start in any stitch around. I'm just gonna start right into the one we just slip stitched into and grab your new color. So in my case, it is blue. Hook that on the hook and pull that through. And now we need to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And that, again, is not counting as anything. So don't think that that counts as a stitch this time. It's not counting as anything. So in the same stitch right here, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And in the same stitch, we are going to put a single crochet. So go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so in that same stitch, there's a half double crochet and a single crochet. Now, in the next stitch, we are going to put two single crochet in the next stitch right here. So go in to this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now in this next stitch, we are going to put one single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In this next stitch, we are going to put two single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're just gonna put one single crochet into the next stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Now we are going to put two single crochets into the next stitch. So one and two. Now in the next stitch, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now in this next stitch right here, we're going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay. In this next stitch, we are going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then in this next stitch, we are going to put two treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a treble crochet. So another one, yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're at the top of our uh, peacock feather here. We're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and then in the same stitch, we're going to put two more treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over twice, go back in, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. All right, now we have two stitches left. Next stitch gets two double crochet, so yarn over once, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. 
and again yarn over go into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now in this next stitch this last stitch we're going to put two half double crochet so yarn over go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and again yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops now we are going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet of this round okay so not this chain of two right here we're actually going to go into the half double crochet stitch yarn over pull through and through and there we have round number two that was simple <laughs> so now I'm going to fasten off this color chain one and cut your yarn pull that all the way through and pull tight I'm going to grab my green and we'll go on to round three all right your new color you want to end up um, actually start up in the first stitch that we just slip stitched into so that first half double crochet right there we want to start our new color so go in there hook on your new color if you are changing color and hook that through and then chain up one so yarn over and pull through just like that now going on to round three we want to put two single crochet into the same stitch so go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and again go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so two single crochet into that first stitch which was our half double crochet our first half double crochet of the last round now in the next stitch we want to put uh, a single crochet so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two in the next stitch we want to put a single crochet so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two now in this next stitch we want to put two single crochet so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and then go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two in the next two stitches we want to put one single crochet so one and one and then in the next stitch we want to put two single crochet so one and two and then in the next two stitches we want to put one single crochet in each one of those so one and one and then in the next stitch we want to put two single crochet one and two okay next we want to single crochet in the next stitch so just put one single crochet in the next stitch right here and then in the next stitch we want to put two single crochet so one and two in this next stitch we're going to put a half double crochet so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook in the next stitch we want to put two half double crochet so yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops and again yarn over go back into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops okay so there's two half double crochets in there we want to put one double crochet into the next two stitches so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops and again yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two all right now in the next stitch we want to put let's see here two double crochets so one and two now we're in the chain one space between these treble crochets so we're going to put uh, two treble crochet chain one and two treble crochet all in the same chain one space so yarn over twice go into the chain one space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two more loops and yarn over and pull through those last two loops okay so that's a treble crochet so again yarn over twice go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two then chain one so yarn over pull through and then put two more treble crochet into the same chain one space so one and two all right now we are going to basically repeat what we did here but backwards okay so we're going to put 
two double crochet into this next stitch. You might have to scoot these over so you can actually see it right there. So yarn over once, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we want to put uh, two half, or I'm sorry, we want to put a double crochet in the next two stitches. I read that wrong. So a double crochet in the next two stitches, one and one. Okay, and if you look on this side, that is what happened on this side too, one and one. So then on the next stitch, we want to put what's mirrored on this one, two half double crochets in the next stitch. So half double crochet is yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we had to put two of those in that next stitch. So now we have two stitches left here. We need to put, let's see here, where am I? Ooh, half double crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in the last. So a half double crochet in here and then a single crochet in the last stitch. Perfect. Now we want to just slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. Okay, not this chain up one, but actually into the single crochet. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then we can fasten off this color. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, pull tight, and there you have a cute little peacock feather. How fun is that? So this could actually just be an applique for something. You could just end here and have this as an applique, like on a cute little, like on a top hat. If you made a top hat, that'd be kind of cool to have like peacock feathers on the side of it. Oh, how awesome. Or you can have a bunch of these on a little baby blanket or something cute. Uh, so, but we still have to make this into a square. So let's just get right into round four. I'm gonna grab my new color and we will attach our yarn to this first single crochet here. All right, I'm gonna hook on my white here into that first single crochet that we just slip stitched into. And then going on to round number four, we are going to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through, let's see here, one and two. And in the same stitch that we just attached to, we need to put a half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet there. Then we are going to single crochet into the next five stitches. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. One, next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. This is four and five, okay? We are making the square shape at this point. So in this next stitch, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Then in the next stitch, we are going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. In the next stitch, we are going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So one, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there's two double crochet in there, but we still have to make our corner. So we're gonna chain two, one, two, and in the same stitch that we have these two double crochets in, we're going to put a double crochet and a half double crochet. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then yarn over and go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so we have a double crochet and then a half double crochet right after that. So there's our first corner. Now, in the next stitch, we are going to actually single crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, so just put a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And the next stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Now, in this next stitch, we are going to put a slip stitch. So just insert your hook, 
yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook, but don't pull too tight. Okay, so just pull through, just like that. Then in the next stitch, actually in the next two stitches, we are going to put a single crochet. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And the next stitch, single crochet. Okay, so that's just making our side flat. Next stitch gets a half double crochet, so yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And the next stitch gets a double crochet. Okay, then in this next stitch, we are going to make our next corner. We're going to put two treble crochet, chain two, and two treble crochet. So remember, treble crochet is yarn over twice. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, this is two, then chain two, one, two, and then put two more treble crochet into that same stitch. One and two. And then in the next stitch, we are going to put a treble crochet. So yarn over, go in to the next stitch. Oh, I'm sorry, twice. Yarn over twice, you guys, remember? <laughs> remember, Nadia? Treble crochet is yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Almost screwed up there. In the next two stitches, we have to put a double crochet. So just yarn over once on that, and then go into these next two stitches for a double crochet in each one of those. So that was one, and this is two. Okay, then in the next stitch, we are going to put a half double crochet. So just yarn over once, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now in the next four stitches, we are going to put a single crochet. So one, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's two, this is three, and four. Okay, now we're in the chain one space of the corner, or of this corner here. This is going to be a corner. We are going to put two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet all in this chain one space. So yarn over, go into this chain one space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then chain two, one, two, and then two more half double crochet can go in there. One and two. All right, there's our third corner. Almost done with this uh, square here. We're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So you might need to scoot this over a little bit so you can see that first stitch. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, then we're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. In the next stitch, we are going to double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then in the next stitch, or actually in the next two stitches here, we are going to put a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, and make your treble crochet. Now there's one stitch left. We are going to make our last corner in there. It is going to be, let's see here, a double treble. So a double treble is yarn over three times, okay? Go in, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and in the same stitch we are going to put a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And our last stitch is going to go in here, we're going to put a double crochet in there as well. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet of this round, so right in here, okay, not this chain up two right here. We're going to go into the half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, and through. Awesome! This looks so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fasten off this color, so chain one and cut your yarn. And pull that through, pull tight. If you're not changing color, you could have just uh, chained up one and, or actually chained up three. I'm going to modify this last round. Chain up three and go on to the next round. I'm just going to insert my hook right in there in that same stitch. And I'm going to grab my last color here. Hook that on my hook and pull that through. And now, like I said, chain up three. Actually, in the written pattern, it's chain up one and do a single crochet round, and you can totally do that. Follow along uh, with her pattern. Uh, you can find that link in the description of this video. But I am going to chain up three. One, two, three. And actually, I'm going to have my chain up three count as a stitch as well. And I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch until I hit the corner. So yarn over go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so double crocheting until I hit the corner. I'll tell you how many stitches that is. Let's see here, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine stitches and a chain of three. So actually 10 stitches here. Uh, there should be 12 stitches on each side until you hit the corner. And in the corner, we are going to put two double crochet. So two stitches, so one and two. Then chain two, one, two. And then two more double crochet in there. For the written pattern, it says to put two single crochet, chain one and two single crochet in the corners, but then put one stitch in each stitch across the side. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, there should be 12 stitches on each side, and then in the corners I'm putting two stitches, chain two and two stitches. Like I said, you can follow along with the written pattern, or you can follow this and do double crochets. Totally up to you. That is creator's choice. Uh, so I will meet you up then at the end of this round, and uh, we'll go on to the next round together. All right, when you're finished with round five, you just want to slip stitch to the beginning. So whether it's your first single crochet or if you're chained up three, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now I want to do one more round. You can decide to fasten off here and have your lovely square, but I'm going to do one more round. I'm just going to chain up three, one, two, three, and just repeat the last round. I'm just going to double crochet into each stitch until I get to my chain two space of the corner, and then I'm going to put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So it's, it's just repeating the last round. Uh, you can repeat the last round, or you could have, like I said, fastened off, or you can do a single crochet or a half double crochet round just to make your square as big as you want it to be. I'm just going to do this one last round, and then I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten off. All right, when you come back around, just slip stitch to the beginning. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then to fasten off, we're going to chain one, cut our yarn, pull that through, pull tight, and sew in our ends. And there you have it. Number 188, Granny Square, is complete. It's so lovely. I absolutely love the peacock feather. It's so colorful. Make sure you're sharing your photos so you can uh, share them on the Facebook and on the Instagram, uh, showing me what colors you chose for your peacock feather. This is so beautiful. And 
thanks for watching. Make sure uh, to check out those links in the description of this video. Big thank you to April for designing the square for us and allowing us to use it in our big project. This is so pretty. Uh, you can check out her pattern and uh, make sure you can, you know, make a blanket out of this. She gives information on how to make a blanket, how to attach to all the squares and all that good stuff to make a pretty peacock feather blanket. So make sure you check out her pattern as well. Thanks again for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your day and as always, happy hooking!